everyone, it's Shauna, and today we are going to be filming a holiday gift guide. So if you couldn't already tell, the Santa hat kind of gave it away. But I'm going to be throwing you all some ideas that you can use when you're gift shopping this holiday season. I have some ideas for girl presents as well as some guy presents I've thrown in there as well. So hopefully you find some of these ideas helpful and let's jump on into it. So to start us off, I'm going to be showing you some ideas that I picked out for shopping for a guy for Christmas. Maybe it's like someone that you're like you're good friends with, but you're not necessarily like you don't know too much about them. So these are some kind of like generic things that you guys can use to kind of check them off your list. The first one is a watch. This doesn't necessarily have to be like the expensive like Nixon watches. I remember when I was at the c &E this year, which is kind of like a fair in Toronto, there was this booth where they had like wooden watches. It was just kind of neat, like a kind of like a specialty item. They weren't that expensive. Maybe it'll bring you like 40 bucks or something like that. Still a really cool idea and it's kind of a unique present. And watches are a big trend right now, so I think it'd be kind of a cool gift to give. Next would be any sort of hat or toque. I know a lot of guys that I collect like those fitted hats or they're like snapbacks like the different sports teams and stuff like that so that's always a good present option if you know their hat size or you can like maybe when you're over in the room you can like um, sneak to see like what size hat they wear just like take it off and just subtly see what hat size they are um, because I know some of them that aren't snapbacks the fitted ones you need to get like the exact me measurement and then if you don't have if you can't find their measurement you can always get them like a hat like one of the like, ones with like the pom-poms on it or West 49, pick up like a bunch of hats, like those are always like simple things, they're not too expensive. They'll get a lot of use out of it, especially if they live in a colder climate, so that's another good option. There's also a choice to get them like cologne. This is more on usually on the pricier side, you can find like good deals if you shop around. I know places like American Eagle, those still smell like really good. Same with like the Hollister ones, those smell really good as well. And they're not as expensive as like the uh, Dolce and Gabbana and like the Prada and stuff like that. It could probably run you a bit of a bill, but still a really good gift idea if you're shopping for a guy. Now on to the ladies. A good safe bet is to just buy her a candle. If you go to like Bath and Body Works or any sort of like home scents, anything like that, places are filled with candles and they all smell delicious. I personally love candles. I'm always burning one <laughs> when I'm home and all snuggly in bed. Want to go on more like an inexpensive gift idea? You could always do a little mason jar crafts. So I've seen a lot of things on Pinterest, little crafty websites like that where they take a mason jar and then they fill it with ingredients to make like hot chocolate or a chocolate chip cookie recipe so they just throw all the ingredients in there and all you have to do is just like pour it in a bowl and mix together or, like add like an egg or something and for like the cookies it's just kind of like a cute idea that's more inexpensive and then you can also make like a couple of them if you're giving them to a bunch of people and then you guys can decorate the jars like so that's a good idea, gift idea if you want to keep it um, inexpensive but still cute this Christmas season. If the person you're shopping for is into makeup a good idea is you don't necessarily have to just go to Sephora and buy like a really expensive of makeup palette if you just go to like a drugstore and you buy like a couple like eyeshadows like mascaras that they've always wanted to try a good one is to get uh, like lipsticks so then they'll have like different uh, shades of lipstick because I know like I've always wanted like to, to try out lipsticks but I never like bring myself to buy it because I don't know if I'll like lock in like a color so if you get them like a little sampler of like different lipsticks like inexpensive lipsticks from the drugstore then at least they can like test it out and it's really a cute idea. Another good one if you know what kind of phone your person that you're shopping for has you can get them like an iPhone case or a cell phone case. There's so many options out there and you can also like find really inexpensive ones on eBay and Amazon. Another idea is so if the person you're shopping for you're friends with them and you like to hang out you could always make up like a little gift certificate to go get your nails done with each other one time. Just kind of like make a little gift certificate on like a document program like Microsoft a word or something like that. You can even probably just Google it and find like gift certificate templates, print that out, put a little bow on it, and then give them that, and then it's their little treat to go get your nails done at a salon together. And lastly, if you're really struggling on a gift to get someone, just go with like a scarf. Go for like a neutral, like accessory item, like a bag or something. No matter what kind of jacket they have, no matter their style, cream chunky knit scarf, and that'll go with so many things, and it'll give the person you're giving to um, so many options on what to wear with it. Because I know some people are kind of picky when it comes to clothing items and accessories like that. So stick neutral and I'm sure you'll be good to go. So I hope you found some of these tips helpful and will make your shopping this holiday season a little bit easier. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel to see more videos from myself as well as the other content creator partners. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! <laughs>